to everybody for uh, sticking around. I know it's been a, a very long day and it's um, been quite an interesting day for, for myself to talk to a lot of investors. Uh, I wanted to thank uh, Tommy Humphreys for really pushing me to come today. Um, uh, I think the quality of the, of the people here has actually been quite amazing, um, particularly given where we are in the markets. It's, it's quite good to see a lot of individual investors out looking for these ideas. Um, Platinum Now, uh, that's the, the title of our um, recent um, uh, annual report. Uh, we've just commissioned our first mine in South Africa after um, 15 years as a public company. Uh, listed both in New York and Toronto, uh, $500 million of capital raised, um, five years of construction, um, probably the most brutal commodity prices I've ever seen. And we've now uh, popped out the back end with a producing mine um, and actually money uh, coming in the door for, for once. Um, I don't normally do this, but I, I thought I'd spend um, at least half of my presentation talking about the commodity. Uh, I generally talk about our, our, our projects and our business because we really do have, I think, some of the best assets in, in, in the mining industry globally. Um, but I, I did sit through a couple of presentations uh, today, um, and most of you know that platinum and palladium are um, really critical uh, commodities for the car business. Um, they go into the catalytic converter for autocatalysis and pollution control. And as far as I can tell, we're all going to um, be driving electric cars and holding hands and uh, singing Kumbaya. Um, so I'd, I'd, I'd like to give people a, a bit of a dose of reality. And uh, I will be um, talking a little bit about the car industry and how fundamentally important uh, platinum and palladium are to pollution control and, uh, uh, frankly, just basic industry globally. Um, we're listed both in New York and Toronto, so I've got a couple of disclosure slides there. Um, so who are we? Uh, we're the company that, frankly, has been around for 15 years, but uh, nobody seems to know about. Um, and it's, I think it's primarily because we're in a commodity that people don't really understand. Um, platinum uh, is really all about South Africa. Uh, most of it is produced in South Africa. And we've been there uh, really since the beginning, since the end of apartheid, uh, when the mineral uh, rights changed in South Africa. Uh, it allowed foreign companies like ourselves to come in and start acquiring some of these assets. So our first mine uh, in the picture there is called Massive. Uh, we've just turned that mine on now, and uh, we see a lot of opportunity in the platinum market. Uh, the mine is built, and uh, we'll be ramping it up over the next uh, couple of years. Uh, the second uh, project is called Waterberg, and it's a brand new discovery. Uh, it's actually sitting at 40 million ounces, and there used to be a day in the mining business when people would say, you know, 40 million ounces, and, and it would actually get a reaction. And unfortunately, we did all of this in, in probably the worst market that, that we've seen in decades. Um, so we're producing and we're developing a new, a new deposit, which we think will be in production in the next, uh, in the next you know, three to five years. Uh, where is all this happening in South Africa? Um, again, if you've studied the geological maps and you know about the commodity, you'll know that uh, all of the world's primary platinum production comes from South Africa. Uh, our first mine is on the western limb where uh, historically all of this mining has taken place. We're right next to the major companies, uh, Anglo-American, Lawnman and Pala, uh, who produce most of the metal. And the Waterberg project is on what's called the north limb of the Bushveld, where we're seeing these brand new thick uh, deposits coming uh, uh, to light. And between ourselves, uh, Ivanhoe, which is Robert Freeland's company, and uh, Anglo-American, we think that the trend going forward for platinum production will be on the North Limb, uh, where we'll have much lower cost production, which is safer and, uh, and um, frankly, more productive. Uh, the company itself, uh, the market cap's actually closer to 300 million. When I, when I did this slide uh, two, three weeks ago, um, our stock has actually tripled since then. And I think we've been swept up in the wave of, of some of the interest in commodities and people looked at the company and said, I can't believe this thing's trading for less than $100 million in market cap. And so we've seen some really good interest from, from investors. Uh, we're covered on the street by the major Canadian banks and uh, those four shareholders actually own 80% of the stock. So they've supported us through uh, the last five years of, of, of uh, construction. Uh, from a basic mineral uh, uh, inventory, uh, we actually control 50 million ounces. Uh, we have about 40 million attributable, 
and uh, the reserves are primarily platinum and the resources have more of a palladium bent to them, uh, given that Waterberg is such a large palladium discovery, but a, a very unique situation in terms of the, the minerals that we actually control. Um, the global uh, platinum price, I think, has been mispriced, uh, frankly, over the last five years. Um, I think it's actually the most mispriced metal uh, in, in, in the world. Um, auto sales are booming. Uh, supply in South Africa is, is, is crippled, frankly. It's been dropping significantly the last few years. And uh, most people have been forecasting major deficits for the metal, but it just doesn't seem to get any, any real traction on a US dollar basis. On, in RAND terms, it's actually not bad, given the decline in the, in the, in the currency in South Africa. Uh, but we expect to see much better US dollar prices. Uh, so I, I'm going to go into my uh, electric car rant here for about a minute. Uh, so this is, a, this is a chart that shows uh, total global auto sales uh, since the 1990s. So 2015, we had over 70 million cars were sold in the world, uh, all-time high. Uh, the U.S. all-time record sales, uh, China all-time record sales, and Western Europe has really come back in terms of uh, diesel car sales in particular. Um, so we don't see that stopping and we don't see any substitute for platinum and palladium in the catalytic converter. So from an environmental perspective, uh, platinum and palladium remain uh, the number one choice to, for pollution control uh, in the car industry globally. And it, it doesn't really matter what happened with Volkswagen. People will continue to drive diesel cars. Uh, they're the most fuel efficient uh, um, uh, they emit the less car uh, less carbon than gasoline, and uh, we haven't seen any issues around demand for uh, for diesel cars. Uh, I threw this slide in, and you, you won't be able to see it very closely, but um, last year in the United States, there were 116,000 electric cars sold. And the reason I'm saying this is because electric cars don't require a catalytic converter, thus they wouldn't require platinum. Uh, of the 17 million cars sold in the U.S., 116,000 were electric, and that's actually down from the previous year. Um, the Japanese are driving fuel cell technology, so if we do eventually do see alternatives, uh, real alternatives uh, prop up, uh, the fuel cell requires a lot of platinum for the, uh, the catalytic effect for, uh, for creating the electricity in a hydrogen car, and we think that's, uh, that's also an interesting market to watch. Uh, the last uh, two or three minutes just on our projects, uh, so this is the Massive Mine. Uh, as I said earlier, we've just commissioned this project in South Africa. Uh, there's over 2,000 people on the mine site. Uh, we're uh, underground. Uh, we've uh, started milling our stockpile, and uh, we'll ramp this project up over the next year and a half, and we'll produce about 250,000 ounces of platinum and palladium over 20 years. Uh, there's less than 10 primary platinum producers in the world, and we've now just joined this exclusive club of, of uh, primary miners and producers. Uh, the cost curve for the metal is fascinating. Uh, at current metal prices, about 30 to 40% of the production is losing money. And uh, that blue dotted line is where our current mine sits in the, in the cost curve. So shallow depth, high grade uh, gives you a very competitive cost. And uh, we would be the second or third lowest cost project as we ramp this up over the next couple years. And uh, if we actually get a good metal price, I think it'll be uh, quite amazing to watch the cash flow uh, uh, really rack up from this project. So while we've been doing this in South Africa for 15 years, uh, acquiring the first project, uh, building the mine, uh, we started thinking about where else can we find uh, really interesting platinum deposits in South Africa. And uh, the major producers really don't spend any time doing the, the sort of grassroots exploration that, a Can that Canadian companies do. And uh, in 2011, we made what's called the Waterberg Discovery. So it's uh, on what's called the North Limb uh, of the Bushveld. And uh, to date, uh, it's sitting at about 350 million tons, uh, 39 million ounces. And we'll have an update here shortly on the, uh, on the, re on the uh, resource. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see this uh, come in at half a billion tons, which would make it one of the, the largest mineral uh, discoveries in the world, frankly, over the last 10 or 20 years. Um, it's also a joint venture with Jogmec. Um, my colleague who preceded me uh, uh, also is working with Jogmec. Great group to work with. Uh, the Japanese are fantastic. Why is Waterberg important in the last minute or so? Most of the platinum mining in South Africa is done on a one meter horizon with thousands of, of uh, drill, uh, drill rig operators uh, underground. So it's a very labor intensive business. 
not very productive. Uh, the Waterberg discovery is one of the few bulk mineable underground uh, opportunities for platinum. And uh, we look forward here now over the next uh, um, years to come, two, three years, uh, finishing the feasibility work on Waterberg and, and starting construction on this project in the next couple of years. So really exciting time for our company. I uh, hope you join us as shareholders. We think we've got a huge upside as the metal prices uh, increase. And we've got two of the best projects, frankly, in the platinum space today. Thank you.